Team V. Today we are starting to learn about bugs. I love bugs. This is the National Geographic Kids version of the Little Kids First Big Book of Bugs by Catherine D. Hughes. We'll be reading a little bit of this book each day. Let's check out where we're starting. Here is where we begin. What is a bug? Bugs are animals. The word bug can mean any creepy crawly creature from spider to worm, to an insect such as a bee or a cricket. Animals include mammals, you are a mammal, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone. Bugs are invertebrates. Insects are the largest group of invertebrates. Most of this book is about insects. The last chapter is about other kinds of creepy crawlies. An insect usually has six legs that are joined or can bend. Every insect has three main body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen. An insect has two antennae, body parts on its head that the insect uses to smell or to feel. Some insects even hear with them. Most adult insects have wings and can fly. Let's take a look at this guy here. And in this picture, we can see that it has labeled the parts, the antennae, wings, head, thorax, and abdomen. Wow, take a look at this page here. It has so many pictures. Let's look at them. The first picture says a butterfly lays her egg on a plant. The next picture says when an egg hatches, out pops a caterpillar. The plant it hatches on becomes food for the caterpillar. Then it says the hungry caterpillar eats and eats and grows and grows. Down here it says when it is big enough, the caterpillar stops eating. Now it becomes a pupa. Special changes happen inside the pupa. Slowly, the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. For this monarch butterfly, the changes take about two weeks. And then look at this. The butterfly breaks out of the pupa. It stretches out its new wings and flies away. Most insects hatch from eggs. Some kinds, such as butterflies, do not look at all like their parents when they hatch. These insects go through a big change called complete metamorphosis. Wow, it's a big word. Before they look like an adult. A butterfly pupa is also called a chrysalis. Other kinds of insects, such as grasshoppers, look like tiny copies of their parents as soon as they hatch from their eggs. The change these insects go through as they get bigger is called incomplete metamorphosis. And here's a picture of the two striped grasshopper. There are more than a million different species or kinds of insects. Let's take a look at this incomplete metamorphosis. The female two striped grasshopper lays her eggs in the ground. The egg hatches, out pops a nymph. That's a cool word. As it eats and grows, the nymph grows new skin that fits its bigger body. Its old skin falls off. 
This is called molting. How many zeros are in a million? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. More than a million different species of insects. Let's play a game, friends. It says, how many insects can you find? And you can just point to them. Here's the hint. Insects have six legs. And here's another hint. A spider, which is not an insect, it's an arachnid, it has eight legs. So let's start by looking at number one. Is that an insect? Let's look at number two. Is that an insect? How about number three? Is that an insect? What about number four? Is that an insect? Here's five. Insect, yes or no? What about number seven? And here is number eight. Ooh. What about number nine? Hmm, tell me about number 10, insect. And 11. 12. And down here, 13. And 14. So spiders, are bugs, but they're not insects. Isn't that interesting? Let's do our handshake and I'll read to you again tomorrow. Up, down, wiggle, wiggle, pop. Love you guys. Bye friends.